Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Craving Shaving. <clears throat> uh, today is a tribute shave to um, my daughter who was born just a couple days ago. So I'm going to be using this wonderful soap, Everything Nice, um, from Summer Break Soap. Um, it's a great scent. And I'll, I'll talk a little bit more about what's going on right now with my family and everything else that's going on. And um, I'm also using a couple things that I have uh, just received from some of my friends, like this awesome uh, Ducati brush. And this is from Shaving King's Cave. Scott Rollins made this, and it's a it, I, I absolutely love it. It feels really actually quite good, and I have a pretty big hands. It's a pretty pretty big brush, and it feels really really good. So, I'm using that. And then uh, my friend Jeremy Tyler gave me this. This is the Mingxi, I want to say 2000, <laughs> um, Merker Future Clone. Um, and I'm going to be giving that a shot. I've got a whole bunch of beard growth. Um, so let's, let's go ahead and jump right in. So and I'll tell you what's going on. So um, due date for our baby is July... 29th. So this was all kind of a surprise. Um, I was sick, just getting over it. As you can tell, I'm still kind of getting over it. And uh, yeah, a few days back, my my wife's water broke on Wednesday, and we'd never experienced that before. The water never broke with any of our other girls, and um. We went to the hospital here in our on our town, and it's a pretty small hospital. They don't have a NICU or anything like that. And so, when they realized, yeah, the water did break, um, we realized, you know, this is, we're gonna have to they're gonna have to transfer us to the uh, the city next to us, and we uh, we went there, and um, a couple days later. <laughs> Took a little while. Um, we had our baby. She is healthy, as as can be imagined. She's six weeks early, um, ish, and she was born at one ounce shy of six pounds. So she's a preemie, but she's a pretty big preemie. She's doing pretty good. Um, she was. She's been breathing on her whole, own the whole time, hasn't been on oxygen. Um, they have her on a feeding tube and, and stuff like that, so they're taking good care of her. My wife just went back to the hospital to be with her, with her, her mom too, so her grandma's going to see her. and um, I'm here at home with, with my other three girls watching them. Um, so things are good. So I appreciate. It. I know some of you already knew some of this, and 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 uh, have, have uh, been wishing me well. And if you're inclined to pray, your prayers are are much appreciated. Um, so thank you for those of you who who do that. So, um, all right, and as you guys can tell, I <clears throat> don't sound great. I'm still sniffly and and stuff. But I needed to do a a shave video. I felt like to get my mind off stuff if nothing else so while my kids are being good I thought I'd try to sneak one in we'll see if I have to go deal with any drama this is still pretty dry I might add some water while it's on my face <clears throat> okay so set notes on this I mean if you have a kid I think this is a great especially a baby girl this is a great Great, great soap. It smells... The main thing I smell is like baby powder. And it's also got, I think, some floral and some peach and, and cinnamon in there. It's quite nice. And it does remind me of babies. My baby girls, so I, I quite like it. If you don't have that connection, I don't know. It's still a nice scent, but I don't know if it would appeal as much. 
<clears throat> it was made for Kyle uh, um, and April's uh, gender reveal for when they had a baby. So, at summer break soaps. <clears throat> and I got a lot of baby girls, so. Alright. Um, so, probably the hardest thing about this whole experience is that I, uh, I do not, well, I'm, st I'm still sick enough that I am not really allowed in the NICU with my daughter. So, that's, that's been really hard. What they do have, and I'm, and I'm very grateful for this, is they have a camera set up so that I can watch her whenever I want, which is really nice. Okay. All right, so I'm going to start out. Actually, let's do this the other way. Why not? I'm going to start out with this on a six. Why not? And adjust as needs be. Now, I don't generally like aggressive razors, so we'll see how this goes. That's actually way better than I thought it was going to be. It's quite the razor. being a lot more ginger than I normally am, but um, I did plan on I did plan on shaving earlier, but then all this stuff happened, you know, and You know how it is when you have a baby a month and a half early. <laughs> Maybe some of you do know how that is. I feel for you if you have been in there in that situation. Um, yeah, but I, I still haven't been able to hold her anything my wife has. My mom has, my mother-in-law has. But until my cough is completely gone, I'm staying away. Of course. This is quite the razor. I see why people like it. Now I should say, there's a trick with this that Jeremy Tyler showed me. Maybe I'll show you guys for the next pass. But you can actually make this quite a bit milder than you can with the Mercury Future, this, this knockoff version. Um, let me clean up and pause the video and I'll come back. Okay, so... Here's what you're going to, so what this does, if you clamp it down, you can <laughs> dial it in way down so it's below what the normal settings are. <laughs> so we're going to do that. I did cut my chin, I saw. We're going to try this side. I'm going to go up to a six, but on this tightened, uh, tightened settings so there's really instead of one through six there's really like n negative six to positive six kind of thing going on um this this brush so as you can see in there hopefully there is a ducati like micro machines let's see yeah it says hot wheels on it 
anyway, um, in there. It's a really nice looking motorcycle. And this knot is, oh, I've never seen any like it. It's, you know, red, black, and white on the top, I believe. Hard to tell with lather all over it. <clears throat> and it's probably the softest knot in my den right now. Um, I'll put a link down in the description to Scott's uh, Etsy page. I don't know if he has, I don't think he has any more of these knots, but I'm glad I was able to get get one with it. Not a ton of backbone, and he told me that before I bought it. He said there's not a lot of backbone in it, but it's, a, it's still a good one. Much more mild. Still got some bite to it though. Plenty aggressive for for me. Good gracious. This is a beast of a razor, guys. I know what you guys are talking about. Those of you who use the Mercur Future or this or one of the clones. It's a bad mamma jamma. Oh, I think I got myself there. Yeah, it's, uh, it's been really nice that they have a camera on the baby so that I can pull it up and see her and know that she's doing okay. Um, she had an IV. She's never had any problems breathing. Um, she's a little purple when she first arrived, but... Um, they put like a little teeny oxygen mask on her for about, I don't know, five seconds maybe, and then she was good. So, um, she is on a, I can't remember if I said any of this yet. My brain is a little fried. I haven't gotten a ton of sleep. Sleeping on the, this is our first night home. My wife got discharged this morning. <clears throat> We've been sleeping at the hospital till now. There's not really a place to stay at this hospital if you have someone in the NICU. So we're just a town over now. Um, you know, driving into town anytime we want to go see her, which isn't too bad, but <clears throat> it's not bad for me. I haven't been able to see her at all, I guess, so it doesn't really. I think honestly, I'm gonna. I'm gonna move it back to the more aggressive setting, I think. Try like a two. I think I like it better. Maybe I don't, actually. Let's crank it all the way down and see what happens, shall we? Pinch and tighten. <laughs> Put it on a one. That looks like barely any blade gap right there. <coughs> see, it's that cough that's keeping me from my kid. Yeah, that's nothing. <laughs> that's not doing anything at all. Let's go like a four on this. That's fairly nice. I like that.
So this is a perfect Mercur future clone for me because I can make it a little less aggressive. Well, that did fantastic. Some stuff around my chin didn't go so well. We'll hit it with some alum, <clears throat> some aftershave. Anywhere it needs to be. There's plenty of residual slickness. I think I can just, but I don't think there's anything to pick up. Maybe here. That'll do it. Yeah. So. <clears throat> All right. Okay, got my uh, alum stick from Razor Rock. Woohoo! Yeah, that's pretty bad. Just on my chin. I like the alum burn though. A lot of you probably think I'm crazy for that. You don't like it, but I like alum, alcohol burn. It's good. And that's how you know it's working. Same way with toothpaste. I like my toothpaste burn. You can see I burst a blood vessel in my eye coffin. I had a pretty bad cough. <clears throat> Perfect time for it, huh? <laughs> All right, so we did the Ducati Shaving King Cave, Shaving King's Cave Brush with the, uh, I don't even know what you want to call this, not the tri-colored, I don't know, red, black, and white uh, brush knot in there. We got the Ming-Chi 2000, or, I'll correct that if it's wrong, and, um, Summer break soaps, everything nice. Gotta hand it to Kyle and April. They knocked it out of the park with that one. Thanks, guys. I really appreciate that. I like having this soap um, to use today <clears throat> for this shave. Um, all right, let's see. I guess we need an aftershave. Let, let me uh, see what I've got. All right, sorry, I just had to go look through. I've got a bunch of these little samples. So we're gonna use this one from PAA. This is Atomic Age. Bay Rum. Now I am not a Bay Rum fan, but this one oh, it smells so good. So we're gonna get a little bit of this sample. <laughs> oh, this stuff. Can't waste any of it. Well, that was a great shave. Still a little blood right here. Hopefully that'll go away. Um, I felt a little silly. Um, I smelled some of these samples, including Atomic Age Bay Rum, and I, uh, I thought, I smelled the Pineapple Bay Rum, the Coconut Bay Rum, and I, I thought, you know what would be really probably good is an Orange Bay Rum. And I, got on Instagram and messaged Douglas Smythe and I said, have you ever considered doing a, an orange bay rum? And he said, yeah, it's one of the main things, one of the main scents in Atomic Age Bay Rum. And I can smell that now, now that he said that. <laughs> That's probably what gave me the idea. Oh, that'd be really good. So this is a really great uh, bay rum. It's not like any other that I've tried. I, I didn't think I liked bay rum until I discovered PAA's bay, bay rum. So um, highly recommend that to anyone who uh, would like to see what other bay rums might smell like. <clears throat> okay. Well, I think that's it. Uh, thank you guys for tuning into this episode of Craving Shaving. Um, I haven't done any turning, obviously, uh, for, for brushes or anything like that lately. Um, I think I have a couple brushes still on my website that I've 
Let's see. Yeah, I've got a couple. One I, I just reduced the price on, so you can go check that out. Um, yeah, uh, be patient with me as I, I get into that. I'm sure I will while she's in the NICU um, and while I'm still recovering, be able to get some stuff done, but I can't guarantee that. So uh, just you know, be patient with me with that. Um, anyway, thank you for tuning in for this episode of Craving Shaving. Hope you guys have a wonderful day.